Coach, a uh, pretty entertaining contest tonight, uh, you know, from all standpoints. Four goals combined, and Trojans come out on top three to one. Uh, what did you think was the biggest thing that led to UALR victory in this game? Well, we took our chances on the counter attack, you know, and, and I thought we, we talked about that with them playing three at the back. I mean, I thought that there were some spaces there where we could get numbers behind the ball defensively and look to catch them on the counter. And we were effective doing that in, in the first half. And then I think we knew that the second half was going to be different. They were going to come out at us. They got a lot of depth on their team, and, and we've got some injuries and a little sickness that we've had. And, and uh, it was going to be one of those kind of second halves that wasn't pretty, but uh, we, we fought fantastically tonight and we battled. And um, we found out a lot more about ourselves tonight. So it was a, it was a great game for us to have around, not just because of the win, but we know a lot more about our team. You had to have liked the way the back line held up. You know, they pretty much after UALR's second goal, Nichols put, started putting more pressure on, and the back four really, and even the defensive midfield held strong. They didn't have a ton of shots on goal, really. They had a, you know close yeah. opportunities, but never really got shots on goal. Yeah. Uh, what did you see out of the back four? Well, they remained really organized. You know, there were times where Nichols can play very direct and, and look for one ball in being behind, and and we knew that from the video. And our, our back four did a good job of reading that and then just dropping into that space where they couldn't get behind us. But they started overloading down our left side a little bit more in the second half and trying to catch us 2v1, and, and they did once or twice. And then we had to change things around a little bit tactically and, and put an extra player in the midfield for the last 10 or 15 minutes. Um, and in, in the end, it all worked out. We caught them on a the counter-attack, you know. So uh, I, I, it was a great game, and I couldn't be happier. And that counter-attack, you know, it was, I think, exhibited well by Quinn again. She had you know, three goals on Sunday, and now she had two assists and a goal tonight. Yeah. Um, she seems to have a nose for the goal to know where to be. You must like what you've been seeing out of her through three games. Yeah, I mean, even tactically, it was even a classic situation where you need a fit, strong athlete up front. And she did, you know, superb. And she created some things. She won us free kicks and throw-ins and corners when we needed it just to slow the game down a little bit. And then she even caught them on the break, you know, on the counter too. So it's, it's just nice. It's nice when you've got a few more tools to, to have. And, uh, and we have that this year. We've got some pretty good athletes and some good speed in some in certain areas.